burbler is in his element. <laughs> it's just like nature. It's what we're all about. Wagons ho! <laughs> Have a look at that! Oh. Just when they think it's safe to come out. Not an animal! Bang! <laughs> I guess in the end that's probably why we all go fishing. Good morning, sir. Rex Hunt. Greg Hunt. Greg Hunt. Haven't seen you in the family tree. I tell you what, it's nice to see you. Where are you off to today, Mr Hunt? We're going to King Island in the middle of Bass Strait for some serious fishing. King Island? And uh, how many bags have you got, Mr Hunt? 54. 54? OK, I'll uh, check you in. How many days are you going for? Uh, a day and a half. A day and a half. OK, well, I'll start checking you in. And Greg, can I just tell you, we're travelling light. Patrick, that was a magnificent flight aboard well, the famous Rex Airlines, mate. Welcome to King Island, Rex. A couple of firsts today for me. The first flight uh, on Rex and the first uh, time that Rexy's been here at King Island. So. Uh, I'm sure you'll really enjoy yourself. Well, it looks absolutely fantastic. King Island has certainly come a long way since Captain Deadford first sighted the island in 1797. About 1,400 people call King Island home, and the majority of them live in or around the main town of Curry. But it's food that King Island is renowned for. From the magnificent array of cheeses that the King Island dairy produces, to some of the best beef I have ever consumed, folks. And finally, it's bounty from the sea, the rock lobster or crayfish, and not forgetting the local sea elephant oysters. One of the island's biggest exports is kelp. Bull kelp, in fact. It is harvested off the beaches, then air-dried for two weeks on these racks. It is then broken down and dried for four hours in this huge dryer, granulated at the other end and shipped overseas for further processing. This island has so much to offer visitors. From its pristine beaches and lagoons, surfing, bushwalking, diving, golf, and yes, of course, folks, fishing, just to name a few. But we need the local info, folks, and I'm told there's only one place to go. The main street of Curry, folks, very, very busy. There's no doubt about that. And the thing about it is, I don't know what's going on here. I've heard a lot about it, so you've got to get the local information. These people say the Perrys is the hub and hive of information on the island and they've got everything you might need in their shop. I might check them out. Terry, Rex, what are you Rex. doing there? Rex, I heard you were, you were heard of, you're in our territory. Welcome to King Island. Well, I tell you, hey. people outside said that you have everything in this shop, but I tell you what I'm really proud about, folks is that, Terry, you do the same filing system as I've done for 40 years. It's called the loose leaf filing system. But you come in here and you say, do not touch anything, because then you won't be able to find it. That's right. 
Now, the lady across there who makes the best curried pies in curry told me that you've got everything. We have. I can't we believe have. I can't we believe have. in such a small, well, it's like a rabbit warren. Mm. Can I test you out? You can test me out, Rex, yes. Uh, chainsaw. Chainsaw, yes, we've got those. We've got those. Chainsaws. Chainsaws, yes. I don't believe yes. it. Can you show yes. me your chainsaws, please? We can show you some chainsaws. Yes, we can. Brush cutters for the home garden, for the serious people. Picnic sets. Picnic sets and the mowers, all different mowers. Seats for the barbecue. Vacuum cleaner. George Foreman grill. Paintings. Prints all through there, all oh my nice prints. Goodness yes. Me. yes. Oil for the uh, brush cutter. Earmuffs. Bikes for the boys Bikes. and girls. Televisions. Yes. Sleeping, Sleeping bags. bags. And tents. Clocks. Batteries. Toasters, frying pans, cordless jugs, banquet five frying pans, goggles, snorkels. It keeps getting better, mate. A swimming pool. Watches, you want to buy the watch? Here we go, here we go. Are you even selling an eight pound stuffed trout? Fishing gear. And Rex Hunt Heavy Bay Offshore Rig. Have a look at that, folks. I finally made it overseas, King Island. Tennis rackets there. Tennis, Tennis rackets. rackets. Okay, we can go diving if we want to. Wetsuits. Bicycle bits and pieces. I can repair a puncture. Yeah. I can vacuum. Well, I do that at home now. I've got a washing machine. Do you want a washing machine? A washing machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about a fridge or a, a dryer? Fridge, a dish freezer, a dryer. We've even got a dishwasher. Made a hair dryer. You and I, do, you and I actually go to the same hairdresser. <laughs> yes. I don't yes. believe it, a chainsaw. Yeah, but it's are. a second-hand yeah, one, are. mate. That's no good to me. And there's Paul there playing with it, you see. You've even got your son. G'day, Paul. This is Paul the chainsaw sharpener. Have a look at the chainsaws. My yes, goodness there me. There we are. We finally found the chainsaws. Oh, it's a bit of fun, folks. Now, this morning, you've invited myself and the crew to go fishing. What have you got in mind? Uh, we'll go up to Folks Bay if the weather permitting. I think it will be. It looks yep. as if it's abating out there now and it looks, yep. looks quite promising. Uh, there should be some salmon there. Nice salmon. They've been getting you know, salmon three to seven pound up there. Yeah. And uh, there's a nice lot of mullet there at the moment. It's the time of the year for the mullet to be in close and they're there. Yeah. Tell you what, Terry, there's no shortage of wind on King Island. No, we're at a windy spot here, aren't we? That's right. <laughs> isn't this magnificent? Right Open it. Uh, well, Rex, Terry. there you are. There you are. Look, there's uh, some places have it on their notice boards. We have it on a mountain on King Island, and that's your welcome to King Island, and everyone's saying welcome. Kiss me, Rex. How about that? That's fantastic. How about that? Now that looks okay to me, folks. Yes, there it is, Rex, there it is. Magnificent. Well, folks, this is Folks's Bay on the western seaboard of King Island in the middle of Bass Strait, about in line with, say, Skeens Creek or Apollo Bay on the Victorian southern coast. So you know where we are now? If I was going to make the decision, mate, that is our hole. We'll go with you on that one. That's our hole, folks. Folks, I just need to set the scene here. We're just coming out of two or three days horrendous gales from the southwest, and the barometer is on the rise. Just starting to see little patches of blue on the horizon, and that's what I call the dissolving cloud syndrome that many of you who know me know that I think is important because it means that the barometer is rising. Now, I've gone for a specialist outfit that I use on Victorian, New South Wales and Queensland beaches. It's a rod of about 11 or 12 foot long in the old scale, very light. I've got pretty light line, eight to 10 pound in the old scale, and I'm looking for a show. I've got small garfish hooks on, and I'm looking for a yellow eye mullet or a small salmon to give me an indication there's a bit of a food chain going on out there. We can get the burly in, and Bob's your uncle. On the other hand, Terry has gone straight for the jugular. He's got the waders on, he's got the big 90 mile surf outfit that you would have seen 20 or 30 years ago and he's going for the big blokes. I'm on a new piece of terra firma, fishing unknown waters 
It doesn't get much better than that for the old bearded fisherman. I think a lot of people around the world dismiss a fishing area saying there's nothing here. Your eyes are a very good indication of what's happening from your perspective, but the best set of eyes has got feather around them. Now, there's two or three terns and seagulls here that have come in and are starting to look. Now, as soon as those types of birds accumulate over the top of a hole and get very, very agitated or very excited, we'll know something's happening. There it comes. Look at that. Woo. That's a good start, Terry. That's a lovely mullet. That's a mullet, yes, that's a mullet. Now, do you usually get them before you get a salmon? Well, they run together, yes. They run they together? They do, yes. The well. yellow eye mullet. My goodness scrubber. gracious me, I just had a bit of a... You got a bite? That's it. Oh, he has to. Oh, I had a bite it has. just then. I Look tell you what, <laughs> I tell you what, you learn every time I was winding in to check my bait, Terry just says, oh, I've got a little bit of a mullet here. I reckon that was no more, oh, gee whiz, no <laughs> more than 15 to 20 metres out there. Michael will show you. Out there, that's where that wave is. That is where I had my rod. Now, something has grabbed it, and it looks like to me it may well. It was a salmon. When I say it was a salmon, it jumped out of the water and went back in, so he is well and truly hooked. It's not a bad salmon either. Now, have a look at that rod. Now, that rod is designed to take the shock of that fish. And he is just <laughs> swimming, Terry. He is swimming beautifully. Look, up and against there. And, oh, it's a nice salmon. It is a beautiful salmon. Now, I'm going to just bring him in there now and bring him towards me. And here he comes. <laughs> That's a good effort, that one, Rex. That's a good effort. Oh, look at that. Look at How that. about that, mate? That is My a nice-looking salmon. Yeah, it is so, isn't it? Now, at Folks yes. Bay, would that be an average salmon? Yes, it would. Uh, at this time of the year, yes. I reckon yes. he's, what, two and a half, nearly three pound about, in the old scale? About three pound, I'd say, yes. So, he's a nice looking fish, isn't for it? a summer yeah. salmon, mm. on a beach in the middle of Bass Strait, I reckon that's OK. It is. Now... They put up a good fight, don't they? I saw a sign in a paddock on the way down here. And you know what it said? Kiss me, Rex. Yes. <laughs> no, no, we won't do that. I'll tell you what, I'll kiss it for you. And I'll put him go. back into Western Bass Strait. That's not a bad start, is it? So our burley is starting to work. A little bit of bread from the bakery, a little bit of tuna oil just mixed up with a few pallets. He gets a mullet, Terry, and we get an Australian salmon. Beautiful Australian salmon. This is the eastern subspecies and they'll lose their spots and become almost black in the back. And if you go into a pub anywhere along the east coast of Australia, they'll talk about the black back salmon. This bloke's a speckledy uh, back at the moment, but what a nice fish. See you later, mate. And away he goes. Another one, Terry. Yes, Jarek, got another one. Yeah, another one just hit it. Another mullet. Absolutely magnificent. You know, pull him in, mate. I got a uh, a lot of respect for these fish because I think mm. so many people in Australia catch mullet and brim and get hooked on fishing. Yes. Now they're yes. a beautiful, beautiful, clean fish. And you see there, he's lovely and silver. He's got beautiful yellow eyes, and he's a lucky fish. Because I can tell you what, the whole Perry family loves eating mullet. And you ate your first mullet here in 1937. Probably, yes. I'll get yes. him back, mate. Right. I'll get him back first. Okay, get him back. You came here 
when you were still sucking on a dummy, so I suppose you can re be referred to as a local. Just about. Just about. You call this island home. Yes. It is a unique place in the world, and so few people know about it. That's right. Why? Mm. I don't know why, really. I, I suppose means of getting here yeah. would be one of the things. Yeah. Uh, they can't hop on a boat with their car and this sort of no, thing. No, they can't. Yeah. They've got to hop. Send, if they do send their car, it has to come on a boat, and then they have to hop on a plane. Well, mate, I, I did the right thing, and I'm trying to get the whole joint going. I bought my airline here for you, mate. That's Rex. good. Mm. So mm, that's good. That's fantastic. Good. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Mate, you yeah. are a legend. Yeah. You might go and catch you another fish. Try. He's Try. not bad, folks. 1937. He was throwing his dummy at his mother and father, and he hasn't left here since. And you know what? This will mean nothing to the people in the Northern Hemisphere. But he's a Collingwood supporter. <laughs> <laughs> he's seen two flags, 58 and 90. <laughs> and he missed the one in 90 because the windsock blew down and there was no power. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blue bait. It's a common bait fish here in Australia. And we catch them and salt them and we put them on like that. Head first because that's how most predatory fish like salmon take their prey. Half hitch around the tail and that's it. Now usually a lot of people do something to make the fish bite. I'm going to sing them a song. Who sung it? Paul Anker or Jack and the Cocky Scratches? I don't know who it was but it was Oh, one last fish, oh baby, one last fish, that is my only wish. I can catch that last fish, I don't know where I am. Oh, 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 give me one last fish. Fair enough. Got Terry? Oh, I've got a crab, Rex. That's, a crab. That's, that's it, yes. Uh, what do you mean, that's it? That's it. The, uh, the fish will move on, uh, waiting for the sharks to come and get them. I tell you what, I learnt that a long time ago along the 90 mile beach. Mm -hmm. I think you and I both had hair in those days. <laughs> yeah. That when the crabs were there, the yep. fish weren't because yep. the fish eat the crabs and particularly the gummy sharks. That's a sand crab. It is. It's yep. a sand crab there, folks. Have a look at that. Now he's going to grow a lot bigger than that because the sand crabs do grow a lot bigger. I just had a bit of a bite there too. I tell you what, I've got a fish. You wouldn't there read about is, it. There he is, Rex. Now, got one. Yep. now I've got, oh, actually got, got two, two fish. <laughs> I've got two fish. Just hold that, thanks, Terry. Right, got it. Now, these are yellow eye mullet. And Terry said as soon as the sun comes out, and the sun is trying to come out here, there you go, mate. And we'll give your mate a bit of a kiss, hey? Look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. Now, the yellow eye mullet, he's everywhere, particularly all over Australia. And he is the pork of the sea. He's like a vacuum cleaner. He sifts through all the sand and he gets all the nourishment out of it. And the best thing is when you clean them, get that black bit out of the lining of the stomach and they are fantastic. They're uh, quite good out of the ocean. Why People say, they? oh, I wouldn't eat a mullet. The fact is they haven't prepared it properly. Right. I'm gonna put that fish back and away he goes. And look at him back into Western Bass Strait. Well, I tell you what, Terry, it has been an absolute pleasure for me to come down here to Folks Bay and seeing that I talk a lot to the folks down that camera, if it's Folks Bay, the folks can come here. That's right, yes. And do yourself a favour, folks. Go to Dorothy and Terry Perry's uh, shop and spend a week there and you still won't find what you want. <laughs> but it's marvellous, it's sensational, mate. You are a star. Thanks, thanks for being Thank on you. Rexy's show. And yep. thanks to everyone at King Island, you lovely people.